saw a little earlier, rural areas are suffering in the Eastern Cape, but there's also a crisis in the province's main city. Nelson Mandela Bay is served mostly by the Koha Dam, which is practically empty. Added to that, earlier this month, a bulk pipe at a pump station bringing water from the Kharip Dam burst. Residents of Port Elizabeth have had intermittent water supply for weeks. I'm joined now by former Nelson Mandela Bay Mayor Mongameli Bobani. Mr. Bobani from the UDM now heads up the city's water resources as the MMC for infrastructure and engineering. Good evening, sir. Thank you very much for your time this evening. I wonder if you could just update us on water supply in the city. I know that you flagged yesterday that there may be more water problems today. What is the current situation in Nelson Mandela Bay? Well, good evening and also good evening to your listeners. Uh, I can say that uh, presently our residents are getting water and uh, that's why we are saying as the city that uh, they must use now water sparingly. Now the reason why we are finding ourselves in this situation is because of our dam levels, as I'm talking with you right now, are on 18.9%. Meaning, therefore, that we are on the red. At least if we were on 50%, we could even say that at least we have jumped the red. Now, we can only produce right now uh, 268 liters of water hmm. per day. Uh, million, 268 million liters of water per day to our residents. However, uh, uh, we are now producing... Uh, for our residents to consume more than 290 million liters of water per day, meaning therefore that we can only we, we, we can't afford uh, to, 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 to produce water for our consumers because we are on 200 million that we cannot be able to to to, 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 to produce mm. to them. Now that's the reason why uh, we find ourselves in this situation. We are in day zero. Uh -huh. We have not yet arrived in, in dry taps, but we are on day zero. Uh, you know, you say day zero, but a uh, DA leader in uh, the Nelson Mandela Bay municipality, Ngaba Banga, is quoted in a Daily Maverick article, which I read today, written by Estelle Ellis. He says the city hasn't reached day zero. The city has reached day incompetence. He's suggesting the water problems are not only because of the dam levels. No one's disputing that uh, water supply is a problem. But he says it's bad management of resources that actually we've seen years of mismanagement, years of neglect of infrastructure. And that is why we're in such a crisis in Nelson Mandela Bay. What's your response to that? Look, we are, take, we are, we, we are saying that uh, let us not politicize the, this thing of the water crisis. We it's, can't politicize. I don't think it's poli politicizing, sir. I think it's basically saying, let's look at what has caused this crisis. Undoubtedly, as you've explained, there is an issue of water supply. But he is saying there's an issue of bad management. And further to that, head of the National Disaster Management Center, Mapa Tao, said in a letter in July, also from the same article, um, the drought is aggravated by lack of planning and water management, water leakages due to aging infrastructure, lack of skills, poor governance. That's not a political issue. That's people no, no, no. not doing their jobs. Not at all. Uh, Ngaba Banga is lying because he's an opposition. He just playing with, he, he's just playing with the water crisis. All right, crisis. so you're saying the he's lying. Is... What about Ma, uh, Mapa Is he lying too? No. The situation that we find ourselves presently, it's not a man-made situation or a mismanagement. In 2008, it started in 2008, when we, 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 we find out that we will have uh, experience this particular problem. Then we started to build a dam called Moitre Dacte Dam. And it is that dam, as I'm talking with you right now, that is assisting us producing more, producing more than 60% of the water to our population. Is that a mismanagement? And also, we had the best pipe that is coming directly from the Moitre Dacte Dam. It best. It's not a man-made, you know, you know. You know what, though? best because... I hear Our infrastructure you. is old. Your infrastructure is old, and that suggests that maybe resources haven't been managed well. You know, unfortunately, the images that come out of Nelson Mandela Bay are of Andile Longise 
mismanaging water, I would say, by crashing a jug of water over someone's head. Uh, there's a sense there's so much political infighting. No one is actually doing their jobs. You presided over this city for over a year, from August the 2018 to December 2019. You cannot surely be saying with a straight face that there's no mismanagement of our water resources in this area. Surely not. No, no, no. I, I, we are disputing that. In the last three weeks, why we had intermittent water, it's because there was a best pipe. We also experienced some electrical fault. It was not a man-made. The best pipe it was coming from, no it conducted them. No one, no one imagined that we'll have that particular thing. And we manage it. We manage to fix and repair that pipe. People get the water, and after that, we got the electricity. It's not about the mismanagement. It's about our infrastructure, been... which as a city, we are busy right now uh, repairing the infrastructure that Councillor Banga and his party make us to be where we are today. It's because of the apartheid that never serviced that infrastructure. 26 that years ago, you haven't had a chance to fix infrastructure in 26 years. I think that's a bit of a stretch. We've been fixing infrastructure even as I'm talking with you. We are busy putting in the pipes at Jolly. Uh, we are busy, we are busy uh, fixing the, 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 the infrastructure. We are busy repairing the electricity. We even, we, we even, in the three weeks, we even invited the journalists whereby we showed them the replacement of the old infrastructure. This government is doing well. Even this particular thing of the water, we are not hiding it. We are telling the people that we don't have much water on our dams in order to produce for you fully. Our reservoirs are becoming dry. Uh, we are not hiding that. It's not a corruption. It's, it's, it's the fact that there's no rain. There is no rain. So all over the country, some of the municipalities are suffering. If there was rain, and people are getting uh, people are not getting water then i will be telling you that then it's a mismanagement but we are not having grain which depends on our terms all right well thank you very much for your time this evening and i really hope that you get through this crisis because uh the city depends on it and uh, uh let's let's wait and see that was the udm's former executive mayor current mmc for infrastructure and engineering mongameli bobani absolutely adamant that the water problems have nothing to do with anything but a lack of rain.